Hey, so I wanted to make a quick video explaining this project that I've been working on. It is a project to cool down your PC, well, rather to control a PC fan externally using an Arduino or something similar, like another microcontroller, based on the computer, on the temperature of your CPU. So if the CPU temperature goes above a certain threshold, then this fan would turn on. And if it goes under that threshold or another one, so let's say you go above 70, but then to turn it off, it has to go below 60, it would then turn off. So basically, real quick, I have the fan connected to 12 volts coming from this power supply because the Arduino pin that enables or disables the fan cannot provide enough current or enough voltage. And then, well, the enable pin, that is this pin, going to a MOSFET that either opens or closes the path uh, for the current to flow to the fan. And on the computer, I have a background service running. Uh, that is the software running on the computer. And the Arduino is ready to receive the command to either turn off or turn on the fan. All the code can be found on my GitHub. But here I have Cinebench open and open hardware monitor so we can see the temperature of the CPU and put some load on the CPU. So just to demo this, you can see the fan is off and the CPU package temperature of focus is 41 degrees currently. So let's hit the CPU with a little bit of load. Oh, please focus. Okay. So let's do multi-core start. So now the CPU temperature will start rising. When it gets over 70, the fan turns on. And now let's just stop this. Where's the cursor? There it is. Let's just stop this. And then the fan stops. It stops pretty quick because the temperature is quick to go down. So yeah, like mentioned, you can find the code on my GitHub page. Um, this is very crude, like, proof of concept just to see if this would even work or it's viable. Obviously drawbacks are right now the code uh, on the Arduino is very basic. It doesn't allow for communication from the Arduino to go back to the computer. The code on the computer does not allow for changing the thresholds uh, on the fly. You need to change them in code and then recompile so it's hard coded. This fan requires an external power supply for now. And it would be ideal if we could get all the power from the USB connection to the computer. And yeah, that's those are essentially the, the main drawbacks. But I wanted to see if this would work and if I could then implement it into something like this laptop cooling pad that I have here. This has a couple of fans underneath it. See if I could integrate it all in one nice package. So yeah, thanks for watching.